Hello friends and engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, over the course of the weekend, a very close friend of mine and myself, we worked on a smartphone project together. So, um, I've not introduced him to the channel before now. Well, I hope to do so. He's a very skillful embedded system engineer with over nine years of experience. He has over nine years of experience in IoT and embedded systems. And he works as a senior embedded system developer for a top tech company here in Nigeria. All right, so we both worked on this project together. I built the hardware for the home automation project and he worked on the mobile app that we are going to be using to control the home appliances, which is um, two bulbs and the fan. And it also comes with a temperature sensor to monitor the temperature of the room. All right. So he worked on the app using React Native. And so this project is, for the hardware, I used ASP32, all right, for, is the main brain of the project, all right. Okay, so let's see how the project works from the mobile app. And this mobile app was built from React Native. That's JavaScript, so it was built from React Native. All right, so this is the fan control. So the fan is off at the moment. So let's turn it on. It's on. We can also turn on the first bulb. We can turn the second bulb on. And you can see the red fan. They are both on. And you can see the temperatures is reading. So the temperature used, I used Dallas temperature sensor, which is DS 18B20 temperature sensor. All right. So it's reading. 5.3 so this has a temperature threshold of 30 degrees celsius or 10 degrees centigrade so when it exceeds this 30 degrees centigrade as the threshold if you turn on the fan it means the room is very hot so as it is now it's not up to this so that's why um it's not turning on the fan automatically like let me turn off the fan all right so i'm turning off about two if i want Can see how cool the project is what do you think about this project so if you want to work on something like this just type smart home in the comment section below if you want me to do a video series on this i can invite my friend over to teach us on how to use react native to build the mobile app and then i'll do a long video series on on the hardware so that we can combine the knowledge of React Native in building mobile apps and integrating it or interfacing it with hardware. So just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also if you want me to do a video series on home automation or you want me to do a video series on smart systems so that I can invite my friend who is a whiz in IoT and embedded systems so I can invite him to the channel and he would teach us how to build mobile apps and interface it with hardware devices to control things wirelessly. Alright, so this for the connectivity we use Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi. So we can also do it based on Wi-Fi connectivity, all right? So if you have any question, please drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll and attend to it. So if I can get up to 300 comments on smart home, it means you want me to do a detailed video of how to build the entire system from scratch. Even if you are a new BT or embedded system or Arduino programming or, yeah, or embedded, we can teach you everything from scratch and you know to do this yourself and build other smart devices all right thank you for watching see you in my next video and don't forget to like just give me a thumbs up drop your comments and share this video subscribe to my channel thank you
Sie, meine Lieben, haben auch.